Hello there guys, Real is the Fresh Friends with a Rome 2 tournament match. This is going to be the match on uh between Attila the Great playing as Arvirni and Trolley Bolly TWR playing as Tylus. On Alexandria, so this is a round two match again. Best of one, so this this game means everything. And I believe Trolley Bolly picked first, as he is uh bottom on the bracket. He had the map choice and faction choice, but this means that uh, Attila can counter, and he picked Arverni, which is a very curious and ballsy choice. I mean, I suppose he wants to save Boy for later, but Arverni is still pretty strong, but they're going to have a rough time against uh, Tylus, I think. Certainly not as strong as, let's say, the Boy. Boy are ridiculous <laughs> compared to Arverni. But Arvini again is still pretty nice faction. So let's uh, see the build for Tylus uh, again. Trolley Bolly he has four raiding horsemen expected, a bunch of levy freemen as well. Six of those I really like the choice. He has an Unso general in the center. He is a strategist. Then he has three more oat swords. Wow, and four tribal warriors. This is basically four oat swords. Four tribals. This is a very, very strong Tylus build in my opinion, and it's going to do a lot of damage. I mean, he still has the, he can still afford the four raiding horse. He can afford the six levy freemen, and he has all these strong sword units. So why would he not bring a build like this? I mean, he basically has all he needs, all the tools that he requires as Tylus against uh, Arverni. But let's uh, see how things are going to pan out here. Yeah, I just don't see how our Virni will win against four old swords and four tribals. With four raiding horse and six levy freemen. Because you're gonna have he's gonna have such a hard time getting his heavy horse properly into the into the swords of uh of Tylus. Wow, what's my camera doing? Anyway, you can see Tylus right now is actually scouting around with the raining horseman. And that's really good. He's getting some rear shots into this heavy, heavy horse unit, killing so many of them. I didn't even notice. This is huge for Trolley Bolly. Well done, indeed here by him. So much damage done onto this single unit. That is insane, and he's continuing to kill the unit. It's down to 27 men. And it's going to get targeted down and killed by two raiding horse. These guys should be a little bit careful because they might get charged by the heavy horse unit. Okay, so he doesn't actually kill the unit because he didn't have fire at will on. But now he's going to target it and do even more damage. He has to pull out his unit though, but ooh, this he only lost three men for a whole javelin unit. That's not too bad. That is not too too bad. Only losing three men actually, but still, it's it's not the biggest uh, problem. Would have liked to keep the raining ho uh, the extra men, of course, but he's trying to bait volleys with every three men, and he baits successfully baits a volley, and basically this levy freeman now only has one more javelin uh, throw left. So if he continues to bait the volleys of this levy freeman, he'll be in a very good spot. And basically what he can do with his raiding horse is just bait volleys. Because right now, look, he's... There are basically... Well, I guess I can go over the Arverni build. He does have four, four heavy horse. Kind of like three raiding horse and a half now. Well, less than a half because this unit is so under strength. Down to 22 men already. Very well done by Trolley Bolly to deal with it. Then Arverni does have a bunch of levy freemen. Actually, only three on the field. I guess that's not too too bad against Tylus. Then we see he has two chosen swords on his right flank, two chosen swords on his left, and his center is composed of four old swords. So again, uh, the Arverni build is quite strong as well. Ooh, the javelin volley into the rain horse, not killing anything whatsoever. That's not a wasted uh, javelin volley. So again, this build by Arverni is actually fairly strong as well. But the tribals will destroy chosens. So overall, I still would give the advantage to Tylus. It's all about just if he neutralizes the heavy horse from doing the damage, he will 
win without a problem in the in a pronged melee fight, I think. Especially if he starts engaging like this, because if his tribals engage the, the Chosens first, before the Old Sworn engagement happens, I think you'll have basically the best uh, scenario possible for him. And he's got so many Levy Freemen as well, compared to Arvirni. I definitely think, yeah, this is going to go very well for uh, Thylus, I think. But again, uh, it's, if the Heavy Horse get insane charges off, which is going to be super hard, it might go well for him. But he's going to lose so many Heavy Horse here. Raiding Horse barely not getting caught here. They're just going to pull out and do even more damage to the Heavy Horse. Ooh, these poor Heavy Horse units have taken HP damage. This one's down to 19 men now. This is not looking too good for uh, for Arbirni at all right now. And even the Levy Freeman could start pouring in the Javelins into the flank of the, these Chosens. Since he's got so many cho Levy Freeman, like, they will actually do very well when flanking because they can throw their jabs into the swords. It's like Raiding Horse actually coming in like this. I'm not sure. Maybe he's out of ammo. He probably is. No, he isn't. So I... Or is he? I'm not sure. Because if he isn't out of ammo, that's not the best move. But if he is, it could work well. It's going to allow him to kill that Levy Freeman much quicker. Now he's going to start the engagement here with Tribals, uh, blunting the charge of the Chosen Swords. With the Levy Freeman, I mean. And now Oldsworns versus Oldsworns here. General will win for sure, though. For uh, for Arverni. But I think that uh, what Tylus should have done is he should have pulled back this Oldsworn here and allowed uh, Oldsworn General of Attila to just continue chasing. You see the engagement's actually starting on the other side as well, but Oldsworns and Tribals ganging up on Chosens. That's not going to go very well for Arverni. Raiding Horse here, going to get caught, though. And this flank is... Wow, this tribal has routed off the field. I'm not exactly sure what happened to this tribal because it's just... It's just gone. Was it facing the wrong way or something? It might have been. It just got destroyed. I didn't see exactly what happened to it. These Oathsworns here are crushing the Oathsworns of our, uh, Tylus as well. Tribal's beating Oathsworns here. I wonder why that is the case. Lots of strange things. These Oathsworn is going to get wrecked. And here the engagement. Heavy Horse got stopped. So this is going to allow Levy Freeman and perhaps even the Oathsworn to pour in. We have uh, Unity of the Tribes popped for our Virni. Levy Freeman here will of course die to Chosen. But again, very surprising that this tribal got off the field. Not quite sure what happened to it. Raiding Horse here. It's going down. Heavy Horse actually being able to pull out but in the process they'll just get shot a lot and attacked in the rear by raiding horsemen he can't really pull out this Oathsworn though very nicely done here by Attila he is surrounding this Oathsworn and he will kill it he's continuing to flank around the tribal will of course lose to the Oathsworn but it's taking so long and the Oathsworn already killed some units but ooh the rain horse here it comes into the heavy horse Heavy Horse didn't really get a charge up, and even the Raiding Horse actually got some kills on the charge against Heavy Horse. But I think that the Raiding Horse are actually engaging uh, a little bit too far, and this Oathsworn is going to get charged in its unprotected side. No, nope, it looks like they are actually going to charge, but they don't get the best charge. Chosens will charge into the Oathsworns here. But suddenly it's not looking as good as I thought it would for... Uh, for Tylus because he has been mismanaging things a little bit. Of course, in the beginning he started really well, and now he's actually going to kill these heavy horse. And with the rear charges, he's going to mop up this flank for sure. Oathsworn General is still alive for Tylus, and that is a huge deal. These tribals, look, the tribals aren't being cost effective. I don't understand what is going on. They're actually facing the correct way, and they're fighting mostly. Oh, okay, th this is an Oathsworn unit. That is why. <laughs> uh, it makes a lot more sense now, but still. Very strange how how ineffective they act, actually were, but this flank definitely gonna be won by Tylus here. These Oathsworn's doing some very strange things for Attila. Uh, heavy horse trying to run away from the raiding horse and the Oathsworn's, but the Oathsworn's are going to get in here, and they're gonna do a lot of damage to the heavy horse. Might actually route them off the field, but. Still, for a, it's not looking too bad for Attila at all, actually. Like, he is doing a lot of work with his units here. Oh, I don't like this charge, though. 
This is not effective. He should have done it like this properly. He should have taken the time to go around with this old swing properly. Instead of bunching up like this. I don't think that's good. I don't think that's good at all. The old swing general of Tylus is actually duking it out against the Arvini old swing general. Ooh, this is pretty bad, but I th Arvini can pull out his general right now because the Tylus' old sword is in shield wall and he can go for some charges. But he's not doing it. And it, it's not too too easy to micro that and see it as well, like considering there are a lot of things going on. He has to charge these units as well. He has to give a an order to a unit to charge because he can't allow Javelins to kill him. There he goes, that's a good move. He's gonna go with a heavy horse and frenzied charge. He's going to go into this Oathsworn general and see how much damage he can do. He's gonna do a bit of damage to it, but uh, this Oathsworn is still alive and suddenly Tylus is starting to grind it out better and better. Because they've still got Levy Freeman and I believe they still have Javelins. And if they still have Javelins, ooh, the heavy horse. Would be in trouble if uh, there's an attack order given on them. A bit late, so they might not be able to do it. And here they throw in more javelins into the rear of these chosens. Very nice. Levy Freeman coming in here to support with javelins as well. If they throw at the Oathsworn General of Arvirni, it's going to be huge. Uh, Levy Freeman flanking around. Chosen starting to waver. Again, very surprised at the at how well the chosen is it. That is very, very surprising. But the Oathsworn is coming through for uh, Tylus here. They're going to rear charge the Oathsworn General of Arvirni and ooh, he doesn't, he doesn't give a char the charge order here. Oh, he's gonna get his general rear charged and the general for Arvirni is dead. He's dead. This is going to be it. Headhunt activated on all these Oathsworns. Heavy Horse will definitely route off the field, and the Yotsorn is actually route on the field too, so it's just down to this General, which will not actually win him the game. That General won't do enough, but it's so hard to see who, which Yotsorn is uh, which, whose is whose, basically, because now we, there we go, so it routes off the field, and it's actually Trolley Bolly who ends up advancing to the next round, but very, very close game, actually. Pretty damn close. I'm uh, impressed by how close it, it got. I really made it really, really close. And again, you can look at the tribals. Some of them did really, really poorly, and I'm not sure why. Like especially the one on the right flank of Trolley Bolly, it just routed from the beginning, and I didn't see what killed it properly. So because it was very quick, maybe it was facing the wrong way or something, and that's just strange. I I don't really see that. How did it die so quickly? I just don't know. That's strange, but yeah, you can see Levy Freeman as efficient as ever. Raiding horsemen, lots of kills on the heavy horse, exactly what they needed to do. Chosen swordsman, again, not being too efficient, but the old swords did fairly well for Arvini here. But I mean, the thing is, if his chosens don't, I mean, if his old swords do well, I mean, Sure, his Oathsworns do well, but Tylus is also going to have tribals, and he has his own uh, Oathsworns, so... And fine, like, you can, you have four Oathsworns against four Oathsworns, but then you pair up four Chosens against four tribals, the tribals will win. Well, not in this scenario, because something was weird, but... And then you have three Levy Freemen compared to six Levy Freemen. The six Levy Freemen will do a very good job at dealing with the Heavy Horse. And again, they will throw javelins and be very annoying on the flanks. Uh, so th there, those are two advantages for Tylus already. Mid-tier swords and then having more Levy Freeman than Arvirni in this scenario. And the four raiding horse, are act that's actually a really good pick by Tylus as well. So I really like this build by both players, actually. I also like the Arvirni build. But anyway... Hope you guys girls enjoyed. If you want to see more, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. Share the video and I'll see you next time.